everyone, my name is Rafal and welcome to my channel. So today I just want to continue our conversation about the business side of the headshot photography and I want to answer one of the most common questions I've been receiving from you guys and I want to talk about how do I get clients. And this is something what you guys have been asking constantly so I think this is going to be a good opportunity to basically go through this entire process. And I know there's different ways of getting clients but I'm going to share with you guys kind of my approach. And I'll give you some pointers and some tips and some advice. Um, you can definitely use it, you can modify it, you can basically kind of go also your own direction. But this is something which is going to give you some, I would say, strong foundation to basically kick off this entire process. So I have five points which I want to go through and we're going to basically discuss them step by step. So point number one, it's creating strong portfolio. And this is something which, in my opinion, is one of the most important part of getting new clients. You have to have portfolio which is going to sell your services. And this is something which quite often is neglected and you know a lot of photographers they focus on advertising and, and ads and, and, and all those you know crazy stuff. But when you look at their portfolio, is is basically all over the place. So this is something which you have to start off, and this is something which is gonna basically gonna be your some kind of business card. So whenever you get this potential client, it's gonna be much, much easier to sell what you do. And one of the things, and one of the biggest mistakes, what I see what people do, first of all, they have, for example, way too many images. And this is something would confuse people because there's a bunch of different styles. Sometimes people have, I would say, different types of photography mixed up together. So for example, they do weddings, they do architecture, they do headshots, and they mix this whole thing up. And that's not gonna make you any good. You know, everyone who's gonna look at it, it's gonna be confused. It's basically is gonna make your sales um, hard to do because you have to have some kind of clear message what you're selling and you have to have images which are gonna support that. So, as I said, first of all, try to go for your portfolio and try to basically pick your top images which you have and try to put them in some kind of um, nice way of presenting to your client. It doesn't matter it's a website or you have some kind of, I don't know, social media platforms where you're presenting your work. But try to make this whole thing clean, try to make this whole thing consistent, um, try to focus on specific niche. And um, another thing is, would be nice if you have, let's say, a specific style. This is not easy and I know especially when you're starting off, but um, I think, you know, throughout the process, you can start kind of clearing off everything what you like, things which you don't like, and that's how you're going to create your style. So this is what you have to start with. And um, if you don't have that looked after, I would highly suggest it to uh, go through your portfolio, see what you have and see how you can improve it. And I know it's very, very hard, especially at the beginning when you're starting off and you don't have too many images but you can get at the front of your camera your friends friends of the friends or whoever you can get to kind of work with you to kind of help you out with your portfolio you should kind of go all over this and again at the beginning it's not easy but um, even if you have to shoot it for free or you find someone who you really like and let's say they have a really they, they look very good and you think though that person would really bring me some additional value just go for it and I have to tell you that for me it took me three years to build up my portfolio and especially at the beginning when you don't know what you're doing it's hard um, but you know throughout the time and you know this 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 shoots after shoots i could basically create something which was presentable and i've noticed the better portfolio i had the more clients there were coming and then you know it was much much easier to basically sell my headshots okay so let's jump into the next one which is building your social media and this is very important part and i know it's very very time consuming for most of us but unfortunately we're living in the time where this is something which we have to do and there's no other um, option 
and the one advice which I have for you guys is first of all you have to keep posting constantly you cannot just post one I would, I would say image a month and expecting the clients gonna come to you you have to not only post all over the place but you have to be consistent you have to find different platforms you have to find different channels you have to um, somehow try to figure out different ways to basically presenting your work to your potential clients um, and um, you know again it, it, it's something which takes a lot of lot of time and I know I'm just repeating myself right now but um, I'll do separate video on which platforms do I uh, basically push my content but there's at least five six main platforms which you should be active and you should basically push your content through those channels so the one tip what I would like to share with you guys is that each platform works a little bit different and you have to take a little bit of different approach to each of them and I know again it's, it's frustrating sometimes it's time-consuming but um, you know we have to learn how to do it and another I would say very frustrating part is that this whole thing is just keep changing there is a new platforms coming up and then we have to be present there and it, it's just a constant I would say learning process for us to, to basically see how those platforms work, what we can do there, how we can actually make our content interesting for potential viewers and potential clients. But again, that's the reality. We have to kind of deal with this and then we have to learn, which is also, I think, a great thing because we are learning constantly. This is not what we're getting in this kind of plateau where you know we're doing the same thing over and over again um, even though for example in my case my headshots looks similar and I and they have the kind of the similar structure and they I work like basically kind of the same concept uh, but the way I have to approach social media has to be way more uh, creative and you have to take different approaches and then try to come up with new artistic ideas to basically present your work on those platforms okay so let's jump into the next one which I think is going to be much more interesting and which is referrals this is big one and this is how I get most of my clients so whenever you get the client and the client is happy with your work it's always nice to have some kind of referral program for I would say referring your work and you have to also figure out because each client is different and, and some people will help you some people they're not gonna help you and you have to kind of figure it out how those people are gonna um, approach to this and then if they're enthusiastic and they're happy and they they willing to share then you will see this is gonna gonna bring you new potential clients and which they might turn into let's say paid clients so try to kind of be careful about this but always try to kind of ask your clients if they would basically refer you to someone else and also they can do sorts of other stuff for example they can make a post they make a nice comment they may maybe if they post your images they're gonna maybe say something about your services and that's potentially might bring new clients and again that's what works best for me and I've noticed that majority of my new clients coming from the referrals and what I want to add to this is when someone refers you is I would say done deal because the clients they're coming to you and they want to work with you where if you are basically having potential clients on social media they do a little bit I would say investigation they try to figure out who you are what you do and then basically this is entire I would say a different process to getting those clients in the front of the camera when you have referrals it's I would say much much um, easier process to basically get them and then basically have them as a paid client okay so the next thing what I want to talk about is is networking and this is something which in my case I it's extremely difficult because um, you know there's different people and they have different approach to networking I 
I know maybe this is hard to believe, but I hate uh, being in, I would say, you know, places where there's a lot of people. Um, my wife, for example, she loves that. Um, I'm very, very, I would say, shy person, and, and, and I don't like, let's say, standing in the crowd and then talking to strange people. So even though sometimes I go to some of those events where I can network and I can get some potential clients, um, I know for some photographer is a big, I would say, deal and they do this very, very well and they can go to certain, I would say, events or places or some gatherings and they can get, I don't know, clients, you know, out of like just basically talking to someone. Uh, I'm not that kind of person. I know I should work on this, but um, this is not my kind of forte. And, and, and unfortunately, um, if I have to, I do that. But if I don't, I'm going to be pretty much stay away. And this is also, again, my personality. Everyone is different. Everyone has a you know different approach to those things. But again, this is maybe for you something which you can, I would say, take advantage of. And if you're, let's say, open person and you like crowds you like events you you like to network with with, with people um, in kind of public domain then it's it's much probably easier so the last i would say um idea which i have and also that works really really well for me is emails and direct messages so basically what i do i create some kind of list of potential or local businesses which i would like to work with and then i will try to basically contact them but there's few i would say important little tricks which you have to kind of follow in order to don't get basically burnt you know right on the spot so first of all you don't want to start selling your services straight um, you know from the bat and then you know send them email and like hey I'm a hatchet photographer you know please hire me whatever um, you have to be very very gentle um, another thing what I highly do not recommend is try to send them uh, some kind of promos some discounts some sales because usually it, it, you basically burn the bridge right on the spot so the way I approach is, is pretty much sending them very very polite and nice email and I'm introducing myself and I'm telling them what I do and basically I also have a little bit of, um, I would say addition to it that I'm not trying to spam them if they're not gonna reply to me I basically not gonna email them back um, and then I'm not gonna bothering them with my uh, emails so so they know you know this is just a introduction email and then I will wait till the response and depends on the client sometimes you know they don't respond sometimes they I get really nice I would say response saying hey you know if you're gonna need someone we'll definitely contact you and I have to say that um, I got quite a bit of a business from those emails again it's a time consuming you have to create those lists you have to I would say do a little bit of research but that's the way it is um, and you know the first steps is, is extremely important and you have to do it also the right way you don't want to basically as I said burn the bridge before you even basically approach them you're gonna be on the let's say block list or, or something like this so you have to kind of do a little bit of research about you know how to compose email like that or direct message for social media because this is I would say another way you can contact certain businesses um, and again try to be honest try to be polite try to be transparent and again don't try to sell them something right you know from the start offer explain what you do and and basically leave it the way it is and then you will see which direction this whole thing gonna go so basically those are those the most important components how I get my clients if you have any other ideas or any different ways you approach your clients please leave a comment down below and um, I'll be looking forward to your feedback meanwhile please stay tuned and I'll talk to you guys very soon bye bye